The UFC has a lot of big up-and-coming names and talents, but Sean Brady is flying under the radar compared to most of them. While he may not be getting the recognition as some other fighters on their way up, such as Patty Pimblett or Cheeto Vera, Sean Brady is more than deserving of some attention, as well as some big fights. Here's the tap! 14-0 wow. for Sean Brady. Wow. He submits Jake Matthews in round three. Brady gets his first big fight this October, as he's featured on the main card of a stacked UFC 280 pay-per-view. Brady will take on the number five ranked welterweight in the world, Bilal Muhammad. With a flawless 5-0 record in the UFC, with all five wins coming without much doubt, it's a wonder how Sean Brady hasn't gotten a marquee matchup like this one sooner. Training out of Daniel Gracie Philly, along with some of the best young fighters in the UFC, Brady's among the best young prospects in the sport, with Jeremiah Wells, Pat Sabatini, and Andre Petrosky all fighting out of the same gym in Philly, this is one of the best prepared and most successful gyms of the last year. As for Brady's UFC 280 matchup against Bilal, the fight promises to be a competitive affair. These are two of the most well-rounded fighters in the division, and there's not much difference in skills on paper. Both fighters are more than competent on their feet, but the ground game is both of their best weapons. Sean Brady's completed at least one takedown in each of his five UFC fights, and has completed four-plus takedowns twice. In his last fight against seasoned veteran Michael Kiesa, Brady scored a career-high five takedowns to secure rounds and lock up the victory. Brady! Bilal has an even more wrestling-heavy style, as he has a combined 12, yes, 12 takedowns in just his last two fights. Bilal, who has turned into the decision machine over the course of his career, brings a pressure style that doesn't pose much of a finishing threat to opponents, but instead imposes a pressure that eats up the clock and wins rounds. It'll be intriguing if Bully Bilal will be able to carry out this same style in this one, as his advantages in the wrestling and grappling department will be minimal against Sean Brady. Look for this matchup at UFC 280 to be decided on the feet, as the ground game for both of these high-level fighters will cancel each other out. There, it'll be about the pressure and volume striking of Bilal compared to the powerful but somewhat unproven stand-up game of Brady. While he's outclassed opponents on the feet before, Brady has just one knockdown so far and zero KOs on his UFC record. Despite not relying on it often, Brady's a superior striker to Bilal. And this matchup is a great opportunity to show just how much better of a striker he is. While his wins have been impressive, Brady has yet to have a showcase victory to really put his name on the map. His UFC 280 fight against Bilal Muhammad is just that, a perfect opportunity.